Today we're going to use what we know about solving using cross products to solve some percent problems that we might already know how to solve in other ways. Now that we know how to solve proportions using cross products, this is a, an equation you might see very often. You might hear it as is over of equals percent over 100, but I like to use part over whole, meaning the piece over everything, equals the percent over 100. You'll always see the percent over 100 because remember percent means part of 100. Here's our first problem. 30 out of the 34 students were excited about going to Six Flags. Find the percent of students who said they were excited. The first thing we're going to look for is what information we have. Here are the three pieces of information that you might be given in these percent problems. The part, the whole, and the percent. Remember, we're going to use that equation, part over whole equals percent over 100. So now we need to figure out what two pieces of information we know, and the third piece is going to be considered x. Our problem tells us 30 out of the 34 students surveyed, so we know the part that we're excited is the 30. All of the students that were surveyed is 34 students. What this question is asking us to find is percent. Filling in the information that we know, the part is 30, the whole is 34, and the percent is x, we can just substitute those values into our percent equation. Before you solve cross products, you always have the option of simplifying any of your fractions. In this case, if I want to simplify the 30 over 34 before finding the cross products, I can, and a lot of times that's going to be easier. Now I can just solve using my cross products. I'm going to take the numerator of one fraction times the denominator of the other and set that equal to the denominator of one fraction times the numerator of the other. Now just simplifying both sides. And now I just need to solve by using my inverse operations so I'm going to divide both sides by 17. For percents, you really do want to find the decimal value. You can see over on the right side where I did my long division. And I'm left with 88.2 equals x. So that means that 88.2% of the students were excited to go to Six Flags. Make sure you're answering the question that the question's asking. Here's another problem. A store is offering 15% off any purchase of $250 or more. If you spend exactly $250, what would this discount be? Again, the three things that you're looking to see what your question is telling you is, do you know the part, do you know the whole, or do you know the percent? They always need to tell you two of the three things, and the third thing is the question it's asking. So, <clears throat> This is telling you the percent. That's pretty obvious. 15%. Now the $250, that's the total money that you're spending. So that's not the part, that's the whole. That's gonna be the tricky part. The $250 is the whole. The part, that's the discount, that's what we're gonna find. Once you know the two things you know, and the other thing is gonna be your variable, what you don't know, you can go ahead and substitute that into your percent equation, the part over the whole, equals the percent over the hundred. Again, if you can simplify, it's generally easier to use a simplified fraction. I went ahead and simplified my 15 over 100 to 3 over 20, and now I can use my cross products to solve this equation. I get 20x equals 750, and now I need to use my inverse operations to solve. 20x means 20 times x, so the inverse of multiplying by 20 is to just divide by 20. Again, I'm talking about money, so I'm going to use decimals. I get an answer of x equals 37.5, so I'm going to answer the question. You would get The discount would be $37.50. Always make sure you answer the question in a sentence. Last one, I promise. 156 students or 65% of the students, said they get an allowance from their parents. Find out how many students were surveyed. Now, in this case, we know 156 students are the students that said they get an allowance. We don't know how many were surveyed altogether. We know the part, but we don't know the whole. We know that the 
156 students is equivalent to 65%. Setting what we know into our proportion equation, part over whole equals percent over 100. Again, you want to simplify the fractions if you can. Now I'm going to use my cross products to solve. And once I have my cross products, 3,120 equals 13x, I'm going to use my inverse operations to solve. I get 240 equals x, and now I can answer the question, 240 students were surveyed, answering the question in a sentence.